What is it? What's wrong? Gabriel! I see it, Grace. Hold on. There's no one in the shop, and I know there's no one in the back. It's okay. Okay? Gabriel, that thing is still barely alive. How could someone do this? With a knife, maybe? Oh, God, don't even start. We should call the police. No, I'll take care of it. But, Gabriel? I said I'll take care of it. Why don't you go get some coffee? I'll have it all cleaned up before you get back. They know where you live now. Shh, it's gonna be fine. Now go on. Are you sure you don't want to go home? I could close the shop today. No, I'd rather keep busy. I'll be fine. At least that creepy guy is gone. Not that they aren't still watching. Anyway, speaking of keeping busy, we got that book you ordered in this morning. The one on Rada drums. Really? Great. Gabriel! I see it. Stay back. Special delivery, it seems. opens the envelope and finds a note from Mosley in a small brass key. Mosley's note says, Gabe, I have to go underground with this thing. It runs wide and deep throughout the department in the city board. I'm already being watched. It was suggested that I take vacation time, so I am, at least as far as they know. Try to keep out of this. It's too hot for a rookie. Just in case, I'm sending you my office key. You might find some useful things there. P.S. I think this note will look great in the book, don't you? Make sure you save it. The note is signed by Mosley. Times dated June 23rd. 1993. Gabriel finds an article about St. John's Eve. It discusses the day's Catholic roots and its adoption by voodoo devotees. In the early to mid-1800s, St. John's Eve was celebrated with elaborate voodoo gatherings at Lake Pontchartrain, Bio St. John, and other sites outside the city. These days, the day is commemorated commercially in some of the local shops, and a few churches still hold a St. John's Eve Mass. Despite his better judgment, Gabriel reads his horoscope. Today you will either die, or your life will change forever. Sure, why not? It is St. John's Eve. They'll be out tonight for sure. But where? for a bit. Be careful. A new series of crosses is on the wall. A second message from the voodoo crosses is on the wall. You 
using that on the tomb wall. Let me get these new marks down. I should check this against the code Madame Moonbeam translated for me. Maybe I can figure out what this new message says. Looking at the series of crosses, Gabriel can't help but think they have a pattern and meaning he is not comprehending. Gabriel already copied. Gabriel checks the two messages for duplicate symbols and transfers the letters from the matches to the new message. He finds that he has the translation for all of the symbols except for three. Gabriel gazes at the translation of the second voodoo code message. A few letters are still missing. You know, I know who you are. The drummer ignores Gabriel and just continues drumming. That doesn't work, that. Gabriel listens carefully to the drum and opens his Radha book to translate.
Hmm. If Gabriel's translation of the drum code is correct... There'll be a conclave tonight in the swamp. That must be the bayou. You're back. You know, you really freaked me out running off like that. You, anybody home? Stay away from Malia Gede, or you shall pay with your life. What the hell is going on? I'm here to see Detective Mosley. Um, we... we don't have a Detective Mosley here. What? I've seen him here all week. Listen to what I'm saying. We don't have a Detective Mosley on the force. An abandoned car sits in front of the police station. One tire removed. An abandoned car. Oh, God. That's awful. It might come in handy. That dead bird doesn't look like an accident. A warning? All right, I'm going in. This tracker might come in handy.
the hell was that? I knew you'd miss me, so I came back. Really? I forgot you were gone. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Will you do me a favor? What? Use your paints to copy this snake tattoo onto my chest. Now why on earth would you want me to do that? I'm going to a party tonight. Costume, you know. Hmm, you don't say. I guess you're going with Malia. Uh, yeah. That's right. And why should I help you out when I don't even like Malia? Well, if you're jealous about my feelings for her... You know that's not it. I just think, as your friend, that she's trouble. It's perfectly understandable. I know that you have certain feelings for me, quite naturally. Me? I would rather be hung by my hair over a bed of scorpions. I know it must be hard having it in your face like this. No chance to avoid hearing about it, seeing it day by day. Fine, I'll do it. Just shut up. Can we at least go in the back? Sure, but could you say that one more time and pout your lips more? Ugh. what I say? All right, let's go. The shirt, please. You don't know how long I've been waiting for this moment. Now. Hold still. Maybe you'd like to tie me up. One more remark and I'm leaving. Okay, okay. Done. It's just stunning. Sorry I couldn't make it last longer. Well, it was about what I expected from you. I'm going out for a bit. Be careful. Hello, Dr. John. Glad you could return to us, Mr. Knight. The voodoo shrine is filled with items that both fascinate Gabriel and also make his skin crawl. Gabriel slips the signal device into the Sake Madeleine. Can I assist you, Mr. Knight? Hmm? No, no, just looking. Now if only they take the coffin to the ritual.
think I'll leave a message of my own. with his message, Gabriel tosses the brick down. Now if only DJ reads it in time. Gabriel pulls out the tracking device, hoping that the Sake Madeleine made it to the ritual and that this thing will work. All right, there's a blip. They must be here with the Sake Madeleine. Damn Mosley and his infernal machine. This better be working. Entrance to the clearing is marked with voodoo skulls. At last. When in Rome. Here goes nothing. Welcome, Brother Crocodile. Please join the other celebrants. Yes, Dr. John. Uh, Brother Eagle. But first... Name the great serpent who crushes all in his coils. Dambala. You are correct, Brother Crocodile. Who is the destroyer of men? Ogun Badagri. You are correct, Brother Crocodile. Enjoy yourself well tonight. <laughs>
Gabriel. Malia? I know you now. I can smell his blood in your veins. No. You cannot change your destiny. Or ours. No. I will find you. I will destroy you. No. Where is your necklace now, witch hunter? Where are your pretty, pretty gems? 